What is good Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy and a couple of other tickers. I want to break down what's happening with the economic calendar moving forward, some big pieces of data involving Tesla and how things are looking, in my personal opinion. But before I begin the devil's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. Anyways, when it comes to the, the market is moving, I just want to say that right now, Tesla got a very, very nice pump amidst the bullish news that came out involving the Chinese FSD release. Not to mention uh, the Tesla Semi making its debut into Europe. So nice little pump came, but this was just a liquidity grab because Tesla got a rejection. And we're still back within our range. I told everyone to watch and see if Tesla can try to break resistance. I was thinking it might get very close to 180, if not 182. But the move did not last, and now Tesla's making a move back down to our key support. So I'll break down more information about this in just a few minutes. Let's first go over the news real quick. Please note that at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the bill auctions coming out. Very, very minor data, and we'll see how this ends up affecting Tesla and such. Uh, despite that, I just want to call out that there's more news coming out that's going to affect Tesla. We have the Tesla Semi to be featured in Germany's IAA Transportation 2024 event. The Tesla Semi uh, Class A all-electric truck is going to make its European debut at the upcoming IAA Transportation 2024 trade show in Hanover, Germany. That's actually great news. It's expected to run from September 17th to about uh, uh, September 22nd, 2022. And we're going to be looking at a 13% increase in registrations for the event. So that's great news for Tesla moving forward. What else is very good about this is the fact that we're seeing a big shift, at least in the Tesla uh, you know, overall business as the semis are becoming a lot more popular and it's going to be joined by different trucks out there, such as Mercedes Benz trucks and other EVs out there. This is going to give Tesla a lot more attention, incentivize more companies to try to buy the semi and start kind of like uh, trying to sh shift their systems and their power grid systems and very, very big changes in different areas to get ready for what's about to come as there's going to be a big shift in the future. So this is going to be very useful for the transportation department. New innovations are likely coming. I can't wait to see what Tesla announces as a result of this. This is very, very great news, at least for the longer term. On top of this, big fund managers are saying no to Elon Musk's pay package, but proxy advisors are saying yes. So there's a lot of mixed views about whether or not this is going to end up being the case for Tesla, if this will get approved or not. So that's still making a lot of headlines for now. I'm not going to talk way too much about that, but that's something else that's worth noting. Anyways, now let's break down what's happening to Tesla. So I am a little concerned about one thing. Uh, we have a kind of like a head and shoulders that's becoming a lot more symmetrical here. This is kind of like resembling a left shoulder. This may be a head and this could be a right shoulder. But it depends on how well Tesla holds up. We have resistance currently around 178 to 180, those two levels of resistance. Our support is where uh, this 175 area is. If we lose that, I'll be watching 173 to 172. And if we lose 172, I think that this is going to be symmetrical and we're going to be looking for a big dump to 168. So is this the end of the world? Not necessarily. There could be another dump coming to Tesla, but Tesla could still get bought up in the future. It's not necessarily anything that really scares me too much, even if we do get a little dip, because I think the market is going to bounce soon. Are we ready to bounce right now? Not really. I think the market could still see more downside, but I do think that a bounce is on the table for later on. And I'll break down more details about that. So for Tesla, make sure you watch this resistance around this 178 zone. We have support at 175. It is looking a little bit more bearish as we kind of pumped and dumped, and there is a risk of this dipping even lower. So I could see this actually dip a little bit more. And overall, I just want to say that there are risks of us getting into the lower 170s if we fail to hold 175. So just be very careful at this level. Uh, Tesla also had a lot more volume than usual. We saw quite a bit of buying in the beginning before getting eaten up by all the selling. The, the buying in the beginning was just them grabbing liquidity for that rejection, and that's what's led to this move to the downside. So that being said, guys, we are seeing, once again, some weakness in Tesla stock. Uh, it's still within the uh, balance of this range, so we're still holding above 173, but there is a risk of it dipping a little bit lower, in my opinion, especially because of how the market's looking. And by the market, I'm referring to these other tickers. So if you, you look at SPY, SPY has been trying to hold 523 so far, but it's still looking kind of weak to me. Uh, we've been on a downtrend, as you guys can see, and 523 right here is just barely holding up. We have resistance currently at our very, very key level at 524. 
and then also at this 525 area i'm going to be looking at both of those levels those are going to be very very key for how spy ends up moving but i'm going to keep my analysis very very simple to be bullish you want to see it break 525 and hold we haven't been able to do so so far so we're still showing some weakness in my personal opinion and i'm basically eyeing some very very key levels uh i'm going to be watching to see how well we end up holding up uh, I would say 523.8 to 524 is going to be our next resistance. Our support is currently at 523. If we lose that, I do think we could go all the way down as low as 521 before we try to bounce. So watch and see how well we hold 523. We're still holding it, but just know that SPY is still showing weakness. It's still shuffling. It's not really doing a great job at getting bulls to defend just yet. So we'll see how it goes. We're still shuffling, but there is weakness on the chart. For NVIDIA, we are finally seeing NVIDIA pulling back. Uh, this is part of why the QQQ is dipping. We have this resistance up here at our 20 at 11.38. We have support currently at 11.20. If we lose 11.20, look for a dip to 11.13, followed by even lower levels like 1100. I just want to say that right now we're kind of shuffling between these areas. We could even dip a little bit. So NVIDIA is showing a little bit of weakness. For Bitcoin, Bitcoin pumped quite a bit, forming kind of like a cup. But then I just want to note that uh, this could be developing like an inverse head and shoulders like structure. So we went up to about 69,000, just a little bit under that. So now we're dipping back down to our important EMAs. So look for a dip all the way down to about this lower 68,000 area. Could even go lower towards 67,500. And watch to see if we get a bounce later on from there. But look for a dip that's coming. That's going to be the most likely possibility. Then we'll see what happens after that. For the QQQ, the QQQ is also looking a little bit more bearish. We called out 452 in my video from yesterday. Um, and as you guys can see, this 452 area is going to be key for how we end up holding up. If you lose that, I'll be looking for dip all the way down to 450. So overall, the QQQ is still holding up. The resistance all the way up at, at about 453 and 455. So far, this is still favoring the bearers a bit more. So it might actually dip a little bit more. Watch 452 if we hold this or not. That's going to be critical support for us moving forward. For Apple... We're building a little bit of strength, but we're not making crazy moves. We have resistance around 192, 192.5, and also 193.5. We support 190.5. We could actually push a little bit closer to 190, but 192, excuse me. But like I said before, the last time we hit that, we did kind of kind of like reject. So just be careful as we hit 192. That's going to be critical for how we end up moving. Russell 2000 came all the way down to about 201. Now it's trying to rebound. We have a gap to fill, so it might push a little bit more towards 205. Amazon showing some weakness. We lost support at 180, so there's going to be a risk of it coming back to about 178. So a little bit of weakness, unless we try to reclaim 180. We're still kind of shuffling here. Uh, but we are showing some weakness on the chart. It could continue to dip a bit more. Not the best of signs. Meta has lost the support, so the head and shoulders like structure is starting to play out. And this is, once again, starting to favor uh, more potential downside. I could be looking for a move all the way down to about 462. If we lose that, look for more downside moving forward uh, i want to make that very very clear for more tickers out there gamestop is still looking bearish i'm going to be looking at 20 as support if that fails us 18 is a possibility i'm going to be watching that very very carefully for amc amc is also kind of dipping a bit uh this could be dipping all the way down to the support i called out uh let me actually pull up the four hour just to show you that uh amc could be dipping all the way down <coughs> excuse me towards 14.14 the 200 ema so there's a little bit of weakness on the chart we'll have to see how things go uh that's it for the video guys i want to thank you all so much for listening i hope you guys have an absolutely incredible rest of the day just know that the market's showing some weakness still there's no sign of us bouncing yet but watch critical support on spy and just know that tesla is also showing signs of rejection uh, we will see if this continues lower going into tomorrow or not, but make sure you watch to see if Tesla could hold critical support around 173. We have a bearish looking candlestick on the four hours, so there is a risk of more downside. So just be careful and be mindful of how Tesla is looking. All right. So thank you again. I'll see you guys in a few hours and peace out.